Management confirmed pay increases are no longer based on merit. I lost all motivation. I was burned out before this. The review period before I went above and beyond for four rays that was really a pay cut with inflation. Still, I've gotten good to excellent performance reviews across the board. But now that they confirmed merit has no bearing on pay, I can barely bring myself to do the bare minimum. I haven't checked my email in a month. I'm stuck going between apathy and anxiety over my poor performance. My manager wants to have a meeting to discuss my decreased work quality but what's the point? Bad work pays the same as excellent. I'm anxious about losing my job almost five years in this position but I think it would hurt them. More than me. I never wanted this to be my career and it would push me to make a change. The office has been chronically understaffed practically since I was hired and they would likely have to start a replacement at more than what I make now. Thought that's a small comfort. This is more of an outlet for my anxiety and frustration than anything. But I would to hear advice, anecdotes or commiseration if you have any. Yup. My old company stopped doing annual reviews for pay. They just did a yearly pay increase anywhere from 2 to 4. What's the point? I'm with others. Tell them exactly how you feel. If you want change, look into other fields. It's easier to find a job when you already have one. I would start looking now. So get this. My raises are based on merit but a my quota is the same as people with routinely double or more sale sizes. B management adjusted my rotation so I'm only working tiny deals. See they straight up admitted they're putting their finger on the scale for preferred reps they're looking to promote. I'm in a similar position. The last round of pay rises were 5 if you're performing well most people and 5.5 if you're a top performer rare. I was in the performing well group but I just thought, what's the point in busting your guts going above and beyond to achieve top performer which is super difficult to get. When you only get a tiny bit extra, that was the day I decided not to bother and just do the bare minimum. It's a toxic place who cares. Be honest I have no incentive to perform outside of minimum requirements because I'll get paid the same either way. End of discussion. Work your wage. This is why workers have unions to protect against employer abuse. The pay increases were never based on merit. Now they're just honest about it. When someone tells you who they are, listen. I was burned out before this. The review period before I went above and beyond. There's your first problem. Never go above and beyond. Ever. Hard work just gets you used and exploited. Your bosses and CEOs hate you. Stop killing yourself for people that literally don't give a shit you draw breath. If you really feel that way, it's time to polish up your resume and start looking for other gigs that will pay you what you think you deserve. In my industry raises haven't been based on merit my whole career since the mid-90s. Merit might be used for promotions except nobody promotes in-house anymore. You have to quit and go somewhere else for a real raise and or promotion. Our division gets a bucket for raises which gets split among organizations and so on and then. Everyone just gets whatever there is divided amongst everyone. It sucks. Merit raises are not motivational. If your raise is based on a Likert scale of 1-5 and the person getting a 5 gets a 4.0 raise. How hard is someone that's a 3 getting 3.2 going to work for that extra 0.8? Not very. If you're making 16.00 an hour the difference is 0.51 vs 0.64 or a gross improvement over 40 hours. Of $5.20 $40.0.13. I just had my evaluation and no pay raise at all. Nobody in our department did even the one employee who got the 100 score on their eval. They were so pissed anyway. 
Just to the 80 or minimum nothing is worth going above and beyond anymore. Why should I go above and beyond when I'm being paid the same as the people whose slack I've been picking up for several years? If there's no reward for hard work why should I bother? If they ask why tell them your pay is your reward for your work. If they say you need to improve ask for better pay. If they say no we will fire you if you don't improve ask for a timeline so you can make alternative arrangements. We got a three raise against an inflation rate roughly three times that last year. I've adjusted the effort I put into the job accordingly. They effectively cut my buying power so I effectively cut my productivity. You get what you pay for. They pull that shit again this year I'm leaving. The only way to get more money is to change jobs it seems. Look for a new job and wait for them to fire you. They likely won't. But honestly does it matter? Just be ready and you'll survive. But yeah. Consider your time they're done and just coast fuck that place. Edit to add. I've been in exactly the same situation and yay. Just coast. I was in a similar situation a few years ago. Good paying but dead end job with terrible bosses. Wound up snapping and quitting with no notice. Pushed me to find a job as an electrician which is something I've always wanted to do. 2.5 years later I'm making more money and a thousand times happier. Leaving getting fired doesn't have to be a bad thing. Edit spelling. More than two years at a job and your resume needs to be out unless you have stock options vesting. Just remember, that everything Olboxer got for his hard work was being sold to Glue Factory. My advice. If you are cool with possibly having to make a change anyways then just be honest don't be rude. But let him know in zero pulled punches that you no longer feel like your hard work was being rewarded. My company also gave a blanket 4 increase this year regardless of performance review. The lowest performers got the as the best it was rather demotivational. I am currently looking for a new job myself now. Screw it. Go full Klingon. Challenge your management to combat. Winner gets the job. Work your way up to CEO. I would love to have a predictable pay scale based on seniority and not bullshit internal PR and marketing myself. Those terms make me ill and feel hostility to others who accept them. If I didn't have to worry about bullshit, I could concentrate on doing a good job. Which is important enough to me that it motivates me. Maybe because I get to help others a lot. Which I really enjoy. Is it possible that your job sucks shit and you don't like the work itself? I felt that way when I went in to argue my TY raise versus the 25 more that new hires I was. Training were getting. He said I did average work. Yet I was running six departments for him and I was his go to point of contact at night when he needed something fixed or handled none of which was in my original job description and i never got a promotion but no i'm definitely just average and not going above and beyond fucked up part was i asked what the max level would have been if i was above and beyond he has the balls to tell me seven still not even touching the fact that new hires with zero experience were getting 25 more my last raise was three I give them all they pay for and nothing more. I hate to say it because I know how terrible job hunting can be but I'd start applying elsewhere. Always pace yourself and don't go crazy giving an effort to a job that's never gonna treat you right. I would be tempted to ask them if good work doesn't merit a raise then what does? They just will never give you one? I really hope something happens to all these shady companies. It's gotten so bad and I feel we are all nearing a breaking point. My job gave us one raises in January after making us wait for three months. One percent. If it wasn't so easy in WFH. I'd be gone. I know this is our anti-work. But man. Just quit and get a better job. Life's too short to do what you're doing to yourself. You hate it there. So find something you don't hate.